Does any, I want hands up on who eats rocks. Put your hands up. You do? Tell me the name of a rock you eat. Salt. Salt. Who eat, who puts salt on their food? <clears throat> you do? Are? If you put salt on your food, you are a rock eater. Because salt is a rock. Salt is a rock. Write that down. Salt is a rock. Where's your notepad? Her teacher has it. Yikes. She needs some paper. Who's got some extra paper or something? Because you can be, while they're getting it, come on up. You can be my uh, uh, geology assistant. What's your name? Hi, Taylor. I'm Owen Hopkins, a geologist. Okay, hold your, to turn around this way, Taylor. And we're going to do a science experiment in the library. Hold your hand out like this. And I want you to look at what I just poured in your hands really closely. Tell me what shape, what shape, what do they look like? What shape are they? I want the person who's doing the experiment to answer. What? Square. Square, but tell me another word that's three-dimensional. <laughs> what? Cube. Where, what's other? There's just one cube in there? How many are there? Lots of them, hundreds of them. These little salt is in cubes. Those are cubic crystals. Those are crystals. When you're putting salt on your food, you're putting crystals on your food. Look at all those crystals she has on her hand right there. This is salt. So I recommend looking at it in a uh, magnifying glass. Okay, so you can put that on the table right there. It's right there. Okay, so when you're putting salt on your food, you're really putting the rock salt, or, here's a little fancier word, it's, the salt is made up of the mineral halite. Write this down, H-A-L-I-T-E, is halite. Halite, it's a mineral halite. Salt is a rock and a mineral. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, halite, this is fifth grade, right? Are we doing, are we doing our elements yet? Halite is made up of a, of a compound of two different elements, sodium and chloride. Okay? So if someone is supposed to be on a low salt diet, low sodium diet, you don't want to drink, you don't want to eat much, uh, you don't want to consume much salt or halite. But even if you look at a container of salt, it doesn't say how much salt is in here. It says sodium is 25%. So one teaspoon of salt is all you're supposed to have in your entire diet every day is salt. You need salt every day in your food. Who eats, who puts salt on their cereal? Puts, if you put salt on your cereal, you put your hands up. Nobody puts salt in their cereal? You know why you don't put salt in your cereal? It's already in there. And if you look on a box of cereal, it says sodium on it. Sodium is in lots of foods, like Campbell's soup. Look at a Campbell's soup can. Look at it. I like vegetarian vegetable. If you look at it, it says 33% on it. That's for half a can. So if you eat a whole can of soup, that's 66% of the salt you need in one day from one can of soup. It's a lot. So I don't even put salt on our food anymore. Who eats meat? You eat meat? Then you're eating salt. Because you're eating the salt that the animal ate. All animals have to have salt, and we're animals. We have to have salt every day. Somehow, so do animals. Okay, so who's a rock eater? Okay, so tonight at dinner, when you see your dad pouring salt on his mashed potatoes, what are you going to tell him? What could you say to him? What would you say to your dad? What would you say to your dad? You're eating rocks, dad. He'll say, what did you say, young lady? What else could you say to your dad if he's, or your mom if she's putting salt on there? How do those rocks taste, mom? Yes, how do those rocks taste? You can teach your parents something. They might have forgot this. They probably do, but probably forgot. What else could you say? You're yes, you're a rock eater. You, we are all rock eaters. Okay, so that's salt. And when you get back to class, look at them. Look at those little tiny little cubes.